welcome those of you who are watching the Colorado Stanford game just across the bay. The 62 49 win for the Stanford Cardinal over Colorado, but the bus making a charge late in that one. They got a win here on Friday against the Bears. As we are underway, Crystal Blanc, Mary Murphy with you. And, you know, Mary, this is a Cal team. I think they're kind of dangerous because they've been in some games. They've had some close ones. And for Sharman Smith, she said, trying to keep some positives, they also just scored first. Well, they've played great. So you get to the fourth quarter. I mean, they four winnable conference games that they just let slip away with, whether it's turnovers or lack of execution. And that's the focal point. You know, stay in the ballgame to the third and then just do a better job in the fourth. Yep able to close out finish things off when you need to instead of maybe a turnover or a missed bucket there's a whistle on a foul gonna go against the bears it's against curry that's her first but a huge win by stanford we, I mean, yeah. we don't often say that at this point in the season but they moved to seven and one colorado drops to six and two ucla is sitting at six and two so for utah they need this win to stay with Colorado and UCLA. Yeah, this weekend started with the, the Cardinal as well as these Utes and the Buffs all at 5-1 and one in conference play. And the Cardinal stepping back up into that top spot with the win on Friday and now today. Well, a year ago, Stanford did not lose in conference play. And they won a lot of conference games in a row. I think 59 overall. Both Stanford and Cal will finish their season playing the mountain schools that's going to be an interesting matchup late in february yes, that shot just flat for peanut to tell a grad transfer from colorado wearing the face mask broke the nose at ucla last weekend here's peely behind the arc nothing but net at six feet the junior so strong transferred in from usc and the scoop Trickles in good. Curry using her body to get some length and distance. Last year the conference had two freshmen of the year. Use her body well to scoop that one up and good. Izzy Palmer, the junior point guard, the starter now in five games for the Utes. Peely inside, inside, outside game going. Yeah, so the question is how do you guard Peely? If she pushes you that far under, it's over. Transition D going to be a key for both of these teams in this one. Of course, Martine, the transfer from Utah, a terrific addition for Cal. Yeah, six foot redshirt sophomore from Sandy, Utah. Shot clock down to three. Oh, the drive and good composure and patience by McIntosh. Yeah, she read it beautifully. And just really used some subtle head and shoulder fakes to just gain the advantage and, and get that drive off. Patience, a much needed vibe for this Cal team as working it in again Peely right block this time and saw a transfer from UT Martin a couple of seasons ago she did have 11 starts last year no starts this year until today filling in for Kenny to McQueen she's got a few lingering injuries but I'm feeling we should get some minutes here just does not get the start today Meekins Utah with length at their guard yeah. spots Johnson high to low and she gets fouled and the improvements that they've made they're just not getting the wins the results to reward them they were right there that they let slip away as as the time was running towards the end of these ball games so a game like this a huge opportunity against a nationally ranked team to really make a statement yep definitely so you know five of their seven games and now six of eight to ranked teams and she's she just keeps telling her team we've already faced Stanford twice not everybody has done that so far into the lane, good movement, and a look by Onya in there, but can't get the shot to go. Utah trying to push just a bit. Nathan's needs some help. Palmer not to the court. Uh, just internal changes and movement, and now this year again, really, you know, just reaching out and saying, hey, what do we got to do here to get this all turned around and made that to have? Young around and in. Deja Young with the bucket. I mean, I know the shots have been there for Cal. They just haven't hit him, not shooting quite as well as Utah. But you cannot dig an early hole against Utah. Yep, this is a team that's averaging 85 points per game on the season. Now, they're only averaging 71 in conference play as the charge has been drawn. Jenna Johnson is a charge-drawing machine. Not going to show up in a stat sheet, but just invaluable to what this team does. It's a ship hole. One of the best post players that Cal has. They need her to score. They need her to stay out of foul trouble. Yeah, that's her second as muscle on her way in. Neepkins believed they could beat Stanford when they couldn't quite make enough three-point shots and get the stops when they need them. In that locker room post game, 
as Kelsey Reese is going to check in. 53 in black for Utah. Peely's going to get a breather. And Claudia Longarita in. Five in gold for the Bears. Neepkin sets her feet, sticks it. Love it. Six-foot grad student out of transfer from, ten, from Texas a couple seasons ago, was out with the ACL last year for the Bears. They've got her back. Four in gold, and there's Longarita. Finger roll good. And you saw how she went and got the ball and then figured out what to do offensively. Yeah. Big upside for the sophomore. Was an all-freshman team member in the WCC last year. Can hit the three. Well, she is a bright spot. Three and white. Lonnie White is in. And rattling that one in. Jenna Johnson. We get Mastrove, 21 in gold. Guarded by White. Loses her baseline. Finger roll. The shot won't drop. But she gets fouled. FD coming over was Kelsey Reese. Played all of last season. About 12 minutes a game. And you can shoot a lot in practice. But then when you... And she's only had 10 attempts before right. those two this season. Yeah, good point. Game situation, whole different story. As running the floor, Lonnie White out on the break. She gets fouled and will go to the line. This first quarter has blown by. We're just under a minute remaining. Sharma Smith told us the same about Amaya Bonner. And a good player playing in a great program. Utah shooting 64% compared to 36% for the Bears. As the high post shot from Longarita won't fall. And Neep Guns will work some of the clock. High screens. Trying to tip it away was Ortiz. Yeah, again, very active. I like the link. Kicked back out, working it around. Reese is open. She's only taken a couple of threes this season. Works it inside instead. The bank around the defense, shutting her down. And hanging around too long, they're going to get the personal to Vieta. Had 13 against Colorado on Friday. Of course, was the media's. And she's a player that Coach Smith says you know, she's not a mystery any longer. Everybody knows what she's capable of doing. She'll take a seat. Full court pressure from the Bears to Tele back on. 2 1. Meekins trying to get it across and does. Neepkins calling for the screen. The clock winding down. Needs some help. Peely trying to bail her out. Oh, I love the effort by Lonnie White, but that's going to do it for the first quarter. Defense by the Bears. Not giving up one there. Mr. Blunt, Mary Murphy with you here in Berkeley. And a solid first quarter for the youths. They were shooting much better. 54% compared to 33%. Hurt her ankle back in non-conference play and right. then haven't seen a lot of time. But Trump Smith said, I got to get more time into her as the inbound play to Peely works. You know, think about Peely. She makes basketball look easy. She does all of her work, and when she has the ball in her hand, she knows exactly what she wants to do. Incredibly decisive. It's just the norm nowadays for players to find where they really want to be. Tutele up high. High Harker swish. 5 of 12 coming into the game behind the arc and takes her first one and sticks it. Here's White using a screen back at you. And just gives their, those players a lot of freedom. Good points for Lonnie White. Kyle needs the inbound. They get it to Longarita. Spin high to low and pretty. What a finish by Claudia. Palmer with the play call. Johnson and Neepkins. And now McFarland into the high post. Neepkins gets away from the D. And she's so long and strong. Just get into that three-point shot. You've seen her handle almost like your, your number two off guard there, like handling any pressure you got. Yeah, really reading the defenses so well as she does there. Squits the D, takes it in. Good solid matchup inside. Young spins around, gets the touch. Let gravity take care of a lot of your work. Oh, McIntosh. The team, you could tell she had her feet set. Curry getting back, trying to stop her, and maybe forcing that one up a bit was Palmer. Folks at Gill on Friday night, they really put a great game together with that young front line. Uh, up and down, there is no easy game. Healthier and healthier, you want them to be able to compete. Uh, yeah, you were up at Gill, though. It's fun to see that that matchup with 
the Ducks, Oregon, Oregon State will be coming to the Bay next weekend. Healy, spin move, good. You can't move when she seals you. It's old school basketball. Yeah, incredibly strong. She's got it down in the post. There and there, that's what I Curry. loved my experience there. She was such a big part of the yeah. culture there. She said they just, my family just couldn't couldn't get to the number of games, and this has just been a real blessing for her to, to continue her education at Cal, but for her parents to really to come and see her play with more regularity. Yeah, a wonderful opportunity and a big plus for the Bears as Young on the drive gets fouled and will go to the line first on the season for her. Gets the second with six points. She's going to earn more time with this kind of performance. Yeah, she's well, pretty out. Take that. Incredible spark up the bench Young has been, but now getting the starting nod and playing very well. Curry, they're trying to get her an open look. A step back. She can hit it and does. You can feel her rhythm yep. just so much better. Oh, Curry. Warmed up. Skip across to Palmer. High Archer gets it. Left corner three. With the three point shooting, seven of eight for Utah behind the arc. This is what the problem is when you dig a hole. You know, you're down 17, you get it to 10, but you can't get the stop, and Utah just pumps it, pumps it right back up. Yeah, foul troubles also. As you see, Lucha Shipholt, 24 in gold, now into the low post for the Bears. Two personals. She sat the majority of the second half as Young gets the board and wants to push. Those open shots for Cal and Martine has a nice look like that. Boy, those shots need to go down when you're trying to pull a big upset. And they do. Jenna Johnson, perfect post position. Drive your defense a little bit higher. The timing on the release. The ball's delivered. You've got an easy two. Oh, the Bears go right back and do the same. Give yourself up to some open threes, but maybe you'll get a turnover. Yeah, trying to slow down this offense, and the shot won't go there. Peely, thanks wow. to Johnson helping her out, and they work it inside. Those are some basketball plays. <laughs> they sure are. Team. Richard Shipholt staying with it. Great job keeping it up. Yeah. Averages 20 points a game. She could probably shoot the ball, you know, every time she touches it, but hey, if I got it. 10, though, for the team for 16 made field goals as Richard Shipholt for Sharman yeah. Smith. One of their leaders, she's vocal, she's energetic. She plays as physical as she can, but wow, Peely seals things off for Neepkin. Exactly right, half the paint was sealed off. <laughs> That's what she gives them. Martine finds the opening. Oh, stay aggressive offensively. She's got nine points. Palmer in the lane. Um, crowd won the over back call, no whistle. It still comes down, though, to McIntosh. Lucha ship hold, post and up and step over and help once Curry got beat. Yeah, little things like that. That's not going to show up on a stat sheet, Bez. Team moving without the ball, tries baseline. Neepkins with the block. Utah pushing tempo a bit more this quarter. Palmer to Johnson, inside is good. Have not been able to take this lead and cut it. Palmer, long rebound. Neepkins, another chance, extra effort. Peely hands it off to Neepkins. That one rattles. That one it's drops. Ridiculous. Oh. Court awareness. A junior out of Anchorage, Alaska, from a very small town in Alaska, just north of the Arctic Circle. As a good timeout by to Lucha Shiphole. What a difference it makes having her on oh the floor. Goodness. Only five minutes or so in the first half because of a couple of personal fouls. All of the scoring here. Peely gets away from the D. Looks like she's going to stay out there for now with four minutes left in the third. It's go time for Cal. McIntosh needs to put some points on the board. Curry. Yeah, McIntosh is four. Liam Astrovin averages three points per game. Looking for. She's been confident in this game, though, when she's had the minutes. But the challenge is at this end. Can they stop Utah? The answer? Numbers for Utah. Can they take advantage? Neepkin spots it up, trickles it in. All right, that's basketball in 2023, isn't it? Yep. In the past, I'd be no way you'd say take that shot. Points in this quarter. Yeah. Rashawn Smith, you know, she told us just the effort of just trying to get her team as Peely. Talk about effort. Wasted no motion. Yeah. Efficient at a plus. Johnson trying to get some space. Works it in to Peely. The and one. Oh, 
And again, the challenge for Cal. Teams play at Stanford. They they take yep. the top. So Cal gets people's best efforts. Yep. They sure do. Charmin Smith said it, you know, I, we're trying to put him in successful positions to score as that one goes for Curry. It's nice to see Curry looking more like herself. It sure is. Take away by Martin. Marita. Tutele back on. See if they can cut into it. McIntosh, left corner, gets it. It's a long way back, but you got to chip away. But it, the work at this end has got to improve. Yep. Got to get some stops to go with the makes, but Neepkins gets that one to fall. Martine loses it up top. And Roberts calling the play under a minute left in the third quarter. Here's White. She had solid minutes in the first half. Freshman out of Irvine drives it in, and she gets fouled. She'll go to the line. Four points, an assist, a rebound. Gets that one. I mean, nothing's better than feeling like you contributed. Yep. Positive minutes. A lot to look forward to for this young group. The three freshmen for Utah. Curry. Very tall, Reese. Yeah. There's length on this Utah team. Neepkins double teamed up to Reese. Thought about it. Peely. Wow, with one hand. And then ASU back playing after last weekend. They go down at home to Arizona. Five players in double figures for Arizona, including Maddie Connor, who is really coming on. 16 points, four rebounds. Yep. Arizona is starting to figure some things out, some rotations, a lot of new faces. As fourth quarter underway. She sure is. Vieta. Can't get it. There's White. Oh, board. She'll take it, turns around, sticks it. Oh, board to a three. Let's see Reese behind the three-point arc. So close. There's Johnson inside, and she gets fouled. Her effort on the... You're the other scout. You're the scout for the other team, and manage today. Right, but think every day in practice, you're working against Neepkins, and you're working against, you know, just guards that are experienced. And yep, she is. It's only going to help her game. Big plus, as you mentioned, to have those to play with and against. She's guarding a talented freshman here at Cal, number two, Amaya Bonner. Kick out, McIntosh, no hesitation, nothing but net. Not easy to do. No. Yeah, wanted to get her in early in this one, and she did this first half of this game. But she likes her aggressive ability, and she's a slasher. She gives him some length. So they definitely want to get her going. Reese moving and attacking the zone. Johnson racking up the assist numbers. She's got five of them. Or four, excuse me. Four assists, five board. Give her five. They just switched it to five. Why not? Ah, rattling that one in. Knocked it in. Johnson kicks it out to Palmer. Right corner. Can't get it. Tipped around. And Bear's going to push. McIntosh. Good patience. Scroll. And through. Charlie Smith wants to see that extra pass made. Vieta, she needs one. Too much. Good box out by the Bears, but it ends up in Reese's hands, and she puts it in good. It was an excellent box out on two, but Reese was all by herself inside. Nine offensive boards, 14 second chance points. Cal just won. Yeah. Big difference. And the majority of those, Mary, in this game made their way to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2011. It's phenomenal when you think about they've only made 23 baskets. Eight assists are from Jada Curry. Yeah, that is a good number. Cuts into the 24. We're in the brace again. The ACL last year, the injury in preseason. Gets both free throws. She's a a nice piece to the puzzle for the Bears. The pressure and the trapping continues. Peely trying to get out of there. Looks inside. Palmer brings it back out, and she gets fouled. Line set coming out in the third quarter for Utah. They won that third quarter. And you know they're such a great three-point shooting team, but when they keep this team up, but be realistic with them, too, and really try to break the season down and try to keep them in it. Reese working hard on the weak side glass. She had a better angle than yeah. he did. Yep. Tosh can't get the layup to go. Stays with it. 
Nathans gets it to Vieta. White steps it back. Can't get it. I think a foul away from the back. Boy, it doesn't get much easier for Cal with uh, Oregon next Friday and then Oregon State on Sunday in the game against Oregon. We, we got to get ourselves back in the mix. Yeah. Super talented. Martine out behind the arc. Not enough under it. She's had some good looks. They yep. just have not gone down. Martine, nine points on the day, but one of five behind the arc. But Farland gets that one to go in. Rest for Peely and others inside, and a little more physicality as well. As that one rattles around and out. And good minutes for Amaya Bonner, Travis yep. Smith, and Cal. Yep. They need her to just get more experience and start feeling more comfortable out there. Yeah, they sure do. How about another three for Utah? Pretty little okay. mid-range jumper, Bonner. That's a confidence boost right yeah. there. And she's got to remember how that feels and just bring it at practice this week and get ready for next weekend because Cal, they need Amaya to start coming on. Yep, they certainly do, and hopefully this is just the start of what's to come for her. As Vieta's going to let the clock wind down. Deja Young, classy for Jimmy Utah. Martin coming over, the smile, Getting a little love for That's one nice. another. And here's Lynn Roberts. She gets the win. 16 and 2. 6 and 2 in conference play. Shaking the hands of Charmin Smith and her staff.